Ariba starts sourcing. Sourcing better for better commerce. Congratulations on your purchase of Ariba Start Sourcing, the quickest and most impactful tool for establishing sourcing projects, finding and qualifying suppliers, and negotiating best value deals. This video tutorial will show you just how easy it is to do a sourcing event in Ariba Start Sourcing. Let's get started. This will be a high level review of the process to create a sourcing project. I do recommend going to help and guides and that will show you access to all the training materials that we have available and in the event management guide is our quick start for events that will walk you through this process that I'm taking you through in this video. Let's create our project and in the left hand side, Common Actions, Create Sourcing Project. On the Create Sourcing Project screen is where we enter the high level information about our event. I'm going to enter a name, description, I'm not going to enter anything right now. If I wanted to copy a previous event, I could use that. This is where I choose event type. In this case, I'm going to create an RFP. If I wanted a dynamic bidding environment where suppliers could see where they are in relationship to other suppliers, I would choose auction. But in this case, I just want to accept a bid from the supplier. If I want a test event or not, I select that. Do note that we have these info boxes that you can click and shows you additional information about the field that you're on. I could enter different languages for the event, baseline spend, target savings, the latter two are valuable when you're reporting on your events. The only additional information I'm going to enter is the commodity information. And When I click here it shows me the most recently used commodities. Do know that we have the full UNSPC taxonomy available but I'm going to select one that I've used recently and I'm going to click create. What happens here is it creates our project shell and then develops the event build wizard that we'll walk through. On this screen we set the rules associated with this event, when it's going to start, when it's going to end, what are you going to see. So in this case I'm going to say starts on the 10th and starts at 10 a.m. I'm going to set it up to run for a full week, seven days. I have the ability to define reminders when the event's going to open and when the event's closing for suppliers. Bidding rules. Do I want to allow scoring on participant responses? I'm going to say no. That will let you add judges to your event and they can grade those responses. Market feedback. Do you want the owner to see responses before the event closes? I say yes, but if you have a particular sealed bid that you would like to run, where the owner of the event can't see responses until the event closes. That's how you would set that here to know. Next step, team. I can establish additional users from my organization to review the event or in this case grade. So I'm not going to add any other additional users but it's on this step that you can and please review this in more detail in the event management guide. The third step is where we add suppliers. The first thing that happens when you go into this step is you are prompted to create an Ariba Discovery post. Ariba Discovery is an additional solution that we have that allows buyers to discover additional suppliers. We currently have over a half a million suppliers in Discovery and by entering the information below you can match uh, the, with those suppliers and add them to your event. Let's take advantage of discovery, create a discovery post, and find some new suppliers. So in this case it defaults to our name and then we put in our description. We are seeking nylon backpacks to use in our 2012 promotional campaigns. Obviously you would put more detailed information in here but in this case 
I'm going to leave it at that. It defaults to our commodity for our event. You could change that if you want. You can add where you're looking for suppliers from. In this case, I'm going to say United States, add them to my event. I could go into detail of the actual states. But I'm just going to focus on the United States. I can choose the value of the event. and when I want my responses back. I want my responses back by the 8th because we are running this event uh, to open on the 10th so I want these suppliers to respond so I can then decide if I want to add them to my actual sourcing event. And then the actual award date, I'm not going to put in that. And any additional information that I want to put into my event, which I'm not but I could hide my company name, those kinds of information. And I'm going to publish that out to Reba Discovery. And that will send that out to Reba Discovery and will match this with potential suppliers that exist on Discovery. Now we've created our Discovery post and I'm now able to add suppliers to my event. And when I click Invite Suppliers, these are suppliers that already exist in my supplier database. If I wanted to create a new one, I could click Create New Participant and fill out the information for them. And it would send out an invite for that supplier to register on the system. I have a few suppliers that I've already put into the system. I'm going to check each of them, say OK and it adds them to our event. After a little bit we'll see if we have any responses from suppliers on Discovery and we can add them to our event if we'd like. Next step, content. This is where we actually build out the meat of this particular event. Here I can add sections and requirements and questions and actually items. First thing I'm going to do is add a requirement. And a requirement is where you are telling the supplier some information. Please review all the information contained in this event. All questions should be asked via the message board. And I say done and it adds my requirement. Let's ask a question of the supplier. In this case, how long have you been in business? Now there's plenty of elements that you can change to create different types of questions and I'm not going to go into that detail here it's all in the event management guide but in this case I'm going to choose a text type response and I am going to limit the response to a list of choices so I'm going to say less than three years three to six years, seven to ten years, more than ten years. Okay, And I say done and it creates my question. This is where the suppliers will choose from those answers. Now let's create some items. black nylon backpack and I will enter what is the ceiling price we won't allow a price above that I can also enter a historic price what I've been paying in the past that'll be used to calculate savings related to the event and the quantity we're seeking so in this case we're seeking a thousand 
black nylon backpacks and I say done. You also have the ability to copy content. So in this case I'm going to copy and I'm going to tell where I want it. I want it back in that particular section pricing and click paste and it adds it in here by clicking on the item I can edit that item and in this case let's say I want a black leather backpack obviously those cost more so I'm going to set the ceiling price at $35 and let's say I'm currently paying 34 and of those I want 2000 I say done and we have our two items in this event. This is a very basic event obviously and you can add more detailed information, you can add additional sections, you can even drag and drop content into different sections, move it up or down, but this is how we're going to go with our basic event. When I click on summary it's a review of the event, make sure you have all the information correct you can detail see the detail of your event by scrolling down and then you click publish and that will send this out to the suppliers for their review okay I have one last item I'd like to show you I'm in an event that I created before and it's similar to the event we just created but I want to point out this tab called Discovery Suppliers that's available when reviewing or monitoring your event. When I click on that, I can see the Ariba Discovery post that I created during the Invite Supplier step. This is the post and the general information that I asked of suppliers. Ariba Discovery has taken this, matched it with suppliers that exist on Ariba Discovery based on the commodity and the location and I've actually started receiving activity back on this response. It's been viewed by four suppliers out on Discovery. I've had suppliers ask questions and I've actually had a response come in. In this case we had a question asked by a supplier. When I click on the name I can actually see their profile on Discovery and see the information about them. The company information, their state of incorporation, what they provide, so that gives me a good idea of this supplier. I can answer their question. And then with this supplier down here, they've actually sent in a response. So I'm going to view their response. And if I choose to work with them, I can import them to sourcing by clicking on that checkbox and click import to sourcing. This will bring them into my Ariba Start Sourcing site and I can add them to my event like I added the suppliers earlier in this video. Thank you very much and please check out the other videos we have in helping you get started using Ariba Start Sourcing. Thank you. Now you can get Ariba's game-changing sourcing technology absolutely free. Visit ariba.com slash startsourcing and get started today.